Good morning, it is 1010 and I have decided to go to the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. So I just gave her food and honestly, when I think about it, me going on this little trip is actually probably similar to me going to work and not coming home for lunch because work can sometimes be eight to nine hours and actually today, I'm not really even sure I see myself being there for more than four hours. Usually when I hike, I have never gone more than three hours total at the destination, so I am uncertain, but I think it should be fine. Like, it would actually take a lot of effort for me to push it to a duration that I'm not comfortable for her to be in the crate, so I'm sure it will be fine. Speak. Good. Wow, just shuffling the feet. Always shuffling the feet, pups. Speak. Good. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I will see you later tonight, okay? I hope you dream well. Great. Good girl. Oop, I have to take off her collar. Alrighty, I am just about ready to go. And I still have to feed the cats really quick, but then I think I'm probably going to stop at like a Wendy's or something and get some chicken nuggets. Um, I didn't plan my groceries very well this week for a hiking trip, especially a long one like this. Like ideally I would have some jerky, some pretty good and filling snacks for me to have throughout the day because I won't easily have access to food. But yesterday I ordered Instacart for 6 to 7 p.m. delivery and I was still at work at 6 and apparently they tried to deliver at like 6.10 so I didn't get any notifications on my phone. Um, apparently they tried to call Shane because I've just been leaving his phone number under my order numbers and it's just, I'm kind of pissed off about it too because they charged me $15 for a failed delivery. That's their fee, but I didn't get any notifications. If I got notifications, I would have told the delivery person to leave my groceries at my door. And they said, you know, they can't authorize that unless I specifically say it. So, so yeah, I reordered my groceries last night for delivery 10 to 11 p.m. And I don't, I didn't get a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not sure if the customer service person who placed my order failed to put the quantity correct. Like they might've just put one item when I had multiple selected for each of the stuff I wanted. Plus it was late. So a lot of the stuff I wanted didn't seem like they ended up being in stock at that hour. So my groceries for this week feels really incomplete. But anyways, Alright, so I got my ticket. It is so hot on the seat right now. Like, it's 106 degrees out here. Okay, so I finally made it out here. I'm sitting outside because I don't board until 1.40. So don't mind me moving around a little bit because it's so hot on the seat. Like, my, it's burning. It's so painful. But I'm boarding in about 15 minutes. My ticket said 1.40 and it's about 1.20 right now. They are boarding the 130 very soon and uh, oh, finally made it here. That driving took forever.
All right, so I just started a few minutes ago and I'm going to try to do a five mile hike. Um, it is nice and cool up here, although a little bit hotter than I was expecting. Man, I kind of wish there were a few more signs at the very start because I'm actually not positive I'm on a trail. Um, oh, I'm a little confused. I feel like I'm kind of lost, but I'm sure I will see a sign eventually. I mean, I basically kind of just started, so there's no way that I won't be able to find my way. I don't actually own a compass. Maybe I should as a hiker, but I usually or generally have a very good sense of direction. So there's a fucking bug buzzing above my camera, Jesus. But yeah, I think I'll be fine. Uh, uh, the drive over here was rough because there's like so much traffic on a weekend and I'm driving out to Palm Springs, which is kind of like the middle of nowhere. So I don't know why there's traffic but California sucks because of that. I don't even know if I want to stay here anymore long term because of crap like that. Okay, my arm's getting tired. Quick break to enjoy the views. I'm on like a rock right now trying to um, get a little more elevation for better views, although I have this thing right in front of me. So I don't really think I feel like putting the effort into scaling it for even higher views, but uh, oh, <laughs> it's hotter than I thought it would be. I found a little piece of tree that is a good height to record myself without having to hold the camera. Sometimes it's really interesting to me how I get really excited to hike and I love to be around nature, but then that, but then there's this whole other side where sometimes when I'm alone by myself in nature I think a lot and sometimes those thoughts lean towards like oh there's like nothing going on it's just me walking around trees and like at times I can feel very bored and it's hard sometimes for me to juggle like I like hiking I want to be here but I am bored um, I think sometimes for us as people when we're around you know computers all the time and we constantly have things we can turn our focus to um, choosing to isolate yourself and put yourself on a hike where that is the only thing you can focus on can be very difficult so I struggle with that a lot um, I honestly don't even think I'm that far into my hike maybe half an hour I tend to be pretty fast at hiking mainly because it kind of reminds me of when I jog um, at least back in like middle school and high school when we would run the mile I would feel really really tired after maybe like the first or second lap but I feel like that constant motion of jogging just made it very difficult for me to just randomly slow down so I would keep going even though I don't want to so it's kind of similar for hiking like I hike at a pretty fast pace and I guess at the same time, I don't actually feel fatigue that quickly. I mean, I am tired, but I don't necessarily slow down my speed by that much. So yeah, it is really nice though, because I've only come across a few people. I mean, the tramway station and all of that was very, very, very packed. And I wasn't a big fan of that. There were a lot of people, but being out here, it starts to really fan out and I love it. But it just sucks because the drive is way too far, two and a half hours one way so I would definitely want to come here more frequently but the long drive and the long wait at the station to go up the tramway I think it took maybe like 30 to 40 minutes before I was finally up here and able to start hiking so that's like three hours and 10 minutes before I can actually start doing an activity and that's gonna be six hours and 20 minutes total so that's just keep going on my hike and I think what I really would like to not focus on is I feel like I give myself a lot of pressure when I do stuff like this especially today where I'm like let me get this hike done over with really quick so I can go home to Riley because I just I still give 
myself a lot of pressure about leaving her home too long. I feel a little bad, but I didn't want to walk her this morning because if I walked her, then I would feel even worse for not giving her water because she had just kind of exerted herself and I can't give her water today before I leave for this long. So all these thoughts, I, I, I really focus on Rally too much. I think it's a good and a bad thing. It definitely shows that I love her and I really want to be the best pet parent for her. But on the flip side, it can be difficult for me to truly immerse myself in activities like this without thinking about her too much and without feeling an urge to get back to her as soon as possible. So... <sighs> All right, now I continue and I will uh, try to focus on only me. All right, I go back to my spot. I hate scaling rocks. Absolute silence. There's like nothing here. excitement right outside the crate, but I have been gone all day. Right? Oh man, I should have brought the camera outside right when I let her out to pee and before she pooped. She like ran around that tree uh, in front of my neighbor's house um, like 10 times and it was so cute seeing her do that because she doesn't often have that much burst of energy where she just hunchbacks for 10 rounds around the tree and I didn't catch any of it on camera. But yeah, that stuff doesn't happen too often because I don't really often have her going eight hours, so. Oh, she drank like, oh, pretty much all the water. Now she's gonna be choking a little bit because I don't know. She has always failed at drinking water. I'm so happy to see you. You're adorable. I'm so happy to be home. Honestly, um, I do think that I wasn't fully able to enjoy the trip because I was constantly thinking about like, the time and not feeling like I could hike for the whole duration without making it too long. And I do think a lot of the driving and the travel drained the shit out of me because by the time I started hiking, it was already three hours since I left my house. And that's just, that's just too much. Um, it's really hard for me to still have the energy to hike for hours and then drive home for two and a half hours. But 
the interesting thing that I think I've learned drastically today is that I don't think I want to live here in the future and that might not seem like a very groundbreaking thing because I just moved here last year but it seems groundbreaking to me because since I've been here, I've loved it because of the weather. I walk Riley two to three times a day and I love it. I love not needing to mentally prepare myself for a walk because I just know that it'll be warm and it'll be enjoyable because of that. But the thing is today, I saw my drive being very peaceful and leisurely because I was driving to Palm Springs and that is northeast of here. And I'm not very familiar with California. I know that Palm Springs, I believe, is a rich area, but just in general, I figured I was driving away from the city and therefore there would be less cars. But no, nearly the entire drive there, there were so many fucking cars. There was like three locations where it was backed up for maybe five to 10 minutes. And I was getting so agitated about that because I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why are there so many people in the state? I actually, it, it just sucks because I feel like the amount of people and expecting that much traffic on a weekend in what I consider to be a direction where not many people should be going, it just shouldn't happen like this. I don't wanna live in a place where I'm discouraged from leaving my house because there are a billion fucking people living in the same area and I can't enjoy driving when there are that many people. Plus, I honestly think a lot of the California drivers suck because there's often like three people going the same speed in three separate lanes and you can't pass because the, those bitches are just driving so slow. And that happened a lot today. So it was just a very frustrating drive as well. And yeah, I, I don't want to live in a place where traffic lasts for four hours in the afternoon on a weekday and in the morning I'm pretty sure it lasts for four hours. I'm pretty sure it lasts for four hours also because that one day I went into work at 6 a.m. There was still a lot of cars on the road. It's not empty. In New Jersey when I went into work at 7 a.m. It was empty. It was beautiful. It was awesome. Leaving at 3.30 from the office, no traffic. But here, leaving at 3.30, not really. You're not beating anybody. There's always going to be a billion people trying to beat traffic, and then those billion people encounter each other's traffic. So my rant is basically just to say, no, I wouldn't say this is going to be where I will settle down. I really do think the goal for me will be to work remote and then move to one of those nicer states. And actually, I'm not really sure if people know him, he's very popular on YouTube, but Jeffree Star, I was watching one of his videos last night where he was just doing makeup in Montana. He was on a raft in the, in the river. And the main reason I watched that video is because I wanted to see Montana. And from his thumbnail, it looked so beautiful. And yeah, the video was just, so beautiful i was just staring at the backdrop the entire time so something i was thinking of doing is maybe next year i'll pick a state and then i'll go there with riley and i'm just gonna explore like one of the midwest states one of the states that i kind of am hoping i can make my forever home in the future because i've never been to some of these states and i'm kind of curious to experience it and see what it might be like for me because at least for here, I just don't see the point in living here because it's very expensive cost of living, so many people, and that's just not worth it for me. Um, I do like the weather, but I think the weather part can be sacrificed for, you know, more land, um, less people, less people bothering you, and I think that if I put more money into buying the right winter gear, then maybe I will be able to withstand the cold. I don't know. It's all stuff that I can figure out later on, but I like to put thought into it now because uh, it's just stuff I really look forward to. So 
my experience today traveling there and driving and realizing how ridiculous the traffic is here I don't want to stay around long enough to see it get so much worse it's only gonna get worse so I hope that I will manage to be in a position to work remotely and buy a house by the time it implodes but yeah, I've been out all day. I'm, ex I'm exhausted. I need to eat my spaghetti that I cooked yesterday and uh, maybe give Puppers another bone because she has been home all day. So I am going to close this one out. I am so tired. I know I'm so sore. Okay. <laughs>